Taylor, you know, flying those accusations yeah. about the whole cheating thing. I know she's like responded to some Instagrams and something like that. Neither of us can go out and be secretive. About right, totally. Anything. That's so true. Last night after Watch What Happens, I was with mm -hmm. my um, little cousin and my future sister in law. Mm -hmm. And I was laughing because people were taking pictures, and I was like, "You can't wait to see yes. like Craig's out with uh -huh. two girls." Totally. Um, and I was, and Paige is like, "How on earth would I have pulled that off?" When she said it, I went more sympathetic towards her, yeah. and being like, "Oh, Taylor, like you don't want to be, you know." Everyone was always shocked that Taylor was dating Shep because mm -hmm. she was such a sweetheart. Yeah. I was like, "You don't want to turn into the girl that was like, oh, well, that makes sense." Sure. But getting cheated on really throws your entire world and everything you thought you knew like mm -hmm. through a loop. And most of us have been there and it's an awful feeling. Mm -hmm. I just, in my head too, she's got all the gigglers. Yeah. I was like, Paige isn't the best person to go after. <laughs> no, you don't want to mess with her. Also, like, it's a stupid thing. I think it's funny because Paige, I'm sure in her head probably, you know, you're never going to be totally cool with someone that says that sure. about you. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope, you know, it works out. Has Taylor reached out to Paige at all? Have she does apologize to me. Okay. But if she hasn't, she should. Sure. Do you, do you think Paige would forgive her knowing what she was kind of going through at the time? Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. think Paige isn't going to hold a grudge. Sure. But mm -hmm. also apologizing goes a, a long way. Like if you're sorry about something and you wouldn't do it again, mm -hmm. then you should say sorry.